complete and utter disaster. I'm losing my son. <gasps> Do tell. Michael, you're right. Hey, son. Hey. Oh, what happened now? Stop. I need your help. Thanks. What's the matter, Carly? What are you doing in Todd's office? Well, you didn't get the memo. Well, this is my office now. Todd and I agreed to share it. I would never agree to work with you, let alone sit in the same room with you. Hmm. Well, you don't believe me? Why don't you ask Mr. Suit and No Tie over there? Good morning. Does this help have anything to do with Connie? Not this time. I need I need you to find a way to get AJ Quartermain away from my son. This lunatic broke into your office. I'm gonna call security. Oh, I'll dial. And then I'll tell them that I have every right to be here, not only as co-owner of the building, duh, but as editor-in-chief of, uh, oh, Crimson. Do not tell me you hired her back. I had to. Oh, you mean you had to? I mean I had to. Carly, please, I've been over this from every angle. She's here. For now. Forever. Hi, nice to see you. What brings you here? Carly's having problems with the little boy Mikey, and she wants her bed buddy to fix it. Dante just called, said some idiot judge let AJ walk. Let me see if I understand this. So, so the guy that kidnapped our daughter uh -huh. and your two sons has just been released. Out on bail, probably headed straight to Michael. Hey. I want a restraining order. I want AJ yeah. away well, from Michael. You can't That's... get a restraining order. Or if, uh, yes, if you were in a rational mind right now, you would understand that. Because Michael's an adult. That's exactly I don't care. right. And you can't get one on his behalf. And even if you could, you'd have to prove that he was a danger. He is in danger, Alexis. And Michael would have to agree. But does he? No. Because all he's doing now is defending AJ. AJ swears. What am I supposed to do? Michael's running around defending AJ, trying to fix his train wreck of a life. I understand you. We're concern. talking about AJ Quartermain here. You know how he operates. He's going to pile on the guilt. He's going to make Michael feel responsible for his endless failures. And, and Michael's life's going to be derailed. And he, I'm not letting that leech. I get it, OK? I really do. do. All right. But the fact is, you have no grounds for legal action, which is not a green light for you to take non-legal action. Did I say I was going to do that? You didn't have to. And keep in mind that going after AJ is only going to drive Michael away. So what you're saying is Connie, Johnny, and now AJ Quarterman get to work the system to their advantage, and I just sit back and do nothing. Yes. Unacceptable. Oh. Something scary is about to happen. Why don't you just disappear, retreat into the shadows like a good author? Buzz off. I got some work to do. Yeah, you should want you get back to the world of high fashion. What's next? Body glitter? Like you've never worn it. AJ is gonna screw up inevitably. So you need to just wait it out, okay? And you, I'll see you later. Mm. <laughs> you know, there's a reason she makes the big bucks, you know. Yeah, yeah, she's a shameless overcharger. Look, you don't want to drive away your son, man. No, I don't. But I don't like to sit on my hands, you know? What, not your style? It just, it just, it just feels like one thing after another. Now this thing with Michael and AJ, it's like it just keeps piling on. Sorry about Jason. Thank you. Let's not forget I, I lost Kate, too. Hey, there's got to be something you can do to get her back. Well, like I said, you know, she's, uh, Connie worked the system. You know what? Screw the system. I think it's about time I do things my way. Let's just examine this from the worst case point of view. That's fine. AJ does go free. And it turns out he is the scum that everybody says it he is. It turns out. Michael will figure that out. Do I even want to know what you're thinking? I can't stand by it while Kate goes deeper into Connie or whatever's going on there. I got to get her alone. What, do you really think you can get through to her? Connie's not the host. I don't care what she sold to the judge. Huh? When I'm with Kate, I can feel Kate just fighting to get out, and she wants my help to do it. So, normally I'd have Jason, huh? you know, to take care of things like that. Hey, is there anyone else? That depends. What about you? You're not gonna kill AJ. What if it's the only way to get him out of our lives? Stop doing that. Okay. 
I'm sure there's another way. Like what? I don't know. I'll think of something. Why aren't you backing me on this? Carly, I don't want you to kill AJ. If you kill AJ, you'll get caught, you'll go to prison for the rest of your life, and I won't have a friend that I don't have sex with, and I won't have anyone to talk to, uh, or watch movies with, or call if I ever get into trouble. If you went to prison for the rest of your life, I'd miss you. You would? Yeah, I would. We can add spy to conniving skank. Seriously, don't flatter yourself. I don't think she was. I'm pretty sure that was an insult. Yeah, I just wanted your opinion on something. Come in, please. What do you think about this new number, huh? Next issue's cover, baby. Yeah, you know what they say, sex sells. I'm sure it does. Carly, can we go outside now and finish up? Yeah. I really can't wait to take this home and have a little test drive with my hubby. But do you think he prefers black or red? Oh. What am I talking about? I know exactly what he prefers. Nothing at all. I have had it oh, with you. Ow. Ow. You want me to help you with your conic problem? Now, you do realize I'm out of the business. You didn't miss a beat when you took down Jerry. Like all reflexes die hard. But that's what I'm talking about. You still got it in you. And, you know, you used to work for me. Oh, yeah. And you hated every minute. <laughs> well, that was different, you know? Now I, I, I know what you made out of. Look, I run a diner, sonny, you know? You didn't tell me you're not bored? What exactly are you asking me to do? Did you? I am so sick of you. Oh, go away. You were in bikinis and a big vat of jello, but you're not. Feeling a little left out. You better tell your girlfriend to wash it. I'm out of here. Go. Please, go. That's it? It's your work day? It's a hell of a work day. It was like 10 a.m. Yeah. Well, it's crimson related, all right? I'm going to try the merchandise on at home. I'm sure Johnny will love that. Oh, you would. I'm out. I'm out. Yeah. Psycho! <laughs> what the hell are you grinning at? <laughs>